Right. In many respects, I'm actually um, an immigrant, obviously a woman. I came from Bosnia in 1996. So when it comes to my political views, what I can tell you is that I do believe in American democratic process because we have it way better here than uh, where I grew up in former Yugoslavia. But you, you make the point that even though you're, you're liberal, you, you're supporting Trump. Well, you worked with him in Noom for how, how long do you work? Uh, for? I, I worked uh, for four years, actually, at Trump International. And what I can tell you is that during my tenure there, I had never witnessed Mr. Trump being inappropriate to me or to any other women. So I wanted to state that even though I'm liberal in, in my political views, that as a former high-ranking female executive at Trump International, he was very fair. Do you disagree with his tweets, though, last week, relating to the former Miss Universe? Well, look, uh, during that time when those alleged remarks happened, I was actually uh, dodging sniper bullets. So I felt terrible for Miss Universe. And of course, I know that those alleged body shaming comments uh, can impact any woman severely. Um, the way I feel about it is that I think women nowadays want to hear about how they, their businesses are going to be supported by venture capital money, which only right now is like 7%. Women want to know that the way they're going to be empowered is through education and career opportunities where their intelligence is going to be utilized and applauded rather than just how they look. It's weird. I mean, the whole... You know, the beauty pageant industry is built on maybe not body shaming, but anybody that would be subject to body shaming isn't even a contestant normally. So by definition, those things are um, anachronistic, anachronistic and, you know, it, it, at least in today's, uh, in today's world. As, as a businesswoman, I have to say, I feel that many of those beauty pageants are in a way archaic. They're by, so one-dimensional. By definition, they... You have to be, you have to starve yourself and yes. be. Um, so as a businessman, what was he like? He was really tough. Uh, he was very disciplined. He worked really hard and he only demanded the best. So if you didn't perform, you would get fired. He didn't really care if you were a man or a woman or where you came from. Um, he just wanted results. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.